Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, demand and the difference between demand and quantity demand because this is the um, topic that um, confuses the students the most. Um, and especially when we talk about um, shifting the demand curve or um, moving along the demand. So let's start with demand. Demand is nothing but the relationship between price and the amount of goods and services that buyers buy. We call that quantity, quantity demand. We like to distinguish between the amount of goods and services that buyers buy, which is called quantity demand or QD, and the amount of goods and services that sellers sell, that is something that we discuss in supply section, which is called quantity supply or QS. So demand itself is nothing but the relationship between the price and how much buyers basically buy or our quantity demanded. And it's something that you already know because we're all buyers. So you know, if something becomes more expensive, you are going to buy less of that product, right? If it's expensive, you're going to buy less. And if something is cheaper, you are going to buy more. So there is an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. Price and quantity demanded are moving in the opposite direction. This is nothing but our demand. So that's simple. We call this inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded law of demand that helps us basically to figure out the shape of our demand curve, okay? So demand, again, is nothing but the relationship between price and quantity demanded. And we can show also this inverse relationship on the graph. So we put the price always on the y-axis and then our quantity demanded down here. So let me quickly draw a demand curve for you. So let's say we're talking about a market for apples. When the price of apple is, let's say, $3 per pound, our buyers buy only one pound of apple. If the price drops to $2 per pound, our buyers are, let's say, gonna buy three pounds of apples. And if the price goes down to one, our buyers are gonna buy more, right? Remember the law of supply? They're going to buy more. So let's say they're gonna buy five pounds of apples. So price is dropping, our quantity demanded is increasing. If you connect all these points, you can get your downward slope demand curve, which again shows the law of demand inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. Now, let's talk about quantity demanded versus demand. So as you can see, demand is this entire thing that we drew together. We have different prices, we have different quantities, that's our demand. So demand is this entire thing. But quantity demanded is one single number. So let's say if the price is $1, our quantity demanded is five. So quantity demanded is just one single number. And I can say that quantity demanded is one single point on my demand curve, okay? So this is our quantity demanded but this entire thing is our demand. That's why when it comes to shifting the demand and moving along the demand, uh, we need to understand the difference between demand and quantity demanded. Because every time that our price changes, we are just moving from one point to another point along our demand curve because the price is just changing. But if anything other than price changes, the entire demand curve will shift. So if price is changing, we are just moving from point, let's say, A to point B on the very same demand because of law of demand. Price is changing, so the amount of goods and services that we buy, which is quantity demanded, is shifting. But if price is fixed, and your income is changing. Um, the price of substitute, price of complementary good is changing. Um, if the if consumer's preferences are changing, then the entire demand will shift. If demand is increasing, 
there will be a rightward shift in demand. Um, if the demand is decreasing, there will be a leftward shift in demand. So let's say um, COVID-19 is happening right now. So we're kind of entering a recession. Um, people's income is dropping. So our income is going down for all the buyers. So as a result, demand will go down. There is a decline in demand. Our demand curve, the entire demand curve is going to shift rightward. Let's say we are done with COVID-19. We have a vaccine for it. So there will be a rightward shift in our demand. People's income is going to go up. So demand for Apple, let's say, will increase. So we will have a rightward shift. So if price changes, there's no shift. But if anything other than price changes, there will be a shift in demand. It also applies to supply. Same thing for supply. If price changes, there's no shift in the supply curve. But if um, anything other than price changes, there will be a shift in our supply. So make sure you know the difference between demand and quantity demanded, and also the difference between supply and quantity supply. Just like demand, quantity supply is just one point on your supply care, uh, but supply is the relationship between price and our quantity supplied. Again, quantity supplied is the amount of goods and services that all the sellers sell in the market. So unlike our demand, our supply actually is upward slope. And the reason for it is because we have a positive relationship between price and the amount of goods and services that sellers sell. So if the price, if our price increases, our sellers have more incentives to sell more goods and services in the market. So their quantity supply will go up. When you think about the supply, forget about the demand side of the market completely, okay? It's gonna confuse you. To figure out the shape of the supply and to understand the law of supply, which is the relationship between price and quantity supply, Think yourselves as sellers, as producers in the market. The only thing that you care about as a seller, as a producer, is your profit. So if the price of your product in the market is higher than before, you can make more money by selling more output in the market. So you are going to increase your quantity supply because you are looking for more profit. If for some reason the price of the product that you sell in the market goes down, you are going to sell more, you are going to sell less. Why? Because you know that the profit is going down for you since the price went down. So you are a greedy seller, so you are going to wait for the market to change. You would like to see a jump or a spike in your price, in the price of the product that you sell in the market. So you are going to sell less right now you are going to cut back your output in the market and wait for the time that the price is again higher than before. That's why we have a positive relationship between price and quantity supplied and we have an upward slope supply. So we call this positive relationship between price and quantity supplied, law of supply, and that's why this is the shape of our supply. Just like demand, our quantity supply is just one single point on our supply curve. So if the price of Apple is $3 in the market, as a seller, you are going to sell, let's say, six pounds of Apple. So this six is your quantity supply, but if you have different prices, different quantity supply, the entire thing is your supply, supply curve. So if price changes, let's say from the price drops from $3 to one, your quantity supplied is going to change from let's say six to two. So you are moving along the supply, but if anything other than supply changes like tax and subsidies, the price of the resources or the raw materials that you use, um, if, um, uh, what else? If um, the productivity, um, changes, if the number of um, sellers we have in the market changes, then the whole supply curve will shift. So again, just like the um, demand, make sure you know the difference between 
change in um, supply versus change in quantity supply. I hope that you find this uh, video helpful. Um, so review demand and supply, how we define them, how we draw them. Uh, make sure you review the law of demand and law of supply. And again, make sure you know the difference between demand, quantity demanded, supply and quantity supply.